the new dietary guidelines uh, for the treatment of diabetes that have uh, recently been uh, published by Diabetes UK, I think uh, are a very important uh, step uh, forward in making dietary advice for people with diabetes much more accessible uh, to uh, both clinicians and patients. One of the reasons for this is that they are based on foods rather than trying to tell people what percentage of fat or carbohydrate they might have in their diet, which for most ordinary people doesn't really mean very much. I'm particularly interested in uh, helping people with diabetes who have weight problems to, to lose weight. And I think it's very important for people to understand that although there are many different types of uh, diets that might help them lose weight, what I think is, is important is using diets that work for the individual. Um, and that is embraced in these guidelines that do uh, encompass, for example, uh, the use of very low calorie diets or, or meal replacements where it's appropriate and where people feel that that is the right thing for them because we do know uh, from the direct study for example uh, that people with diabetes who are successful in losing 15 kilograms or more of weight through such an approach can uh, go into diabetes remission but for other people that might not be the right approach and they may want to try a diet that's low in carbohydrate or they may want to uh, take a healthy eating approach with a Mediterranean diet and all of these things are, are okay as long as they're thinking about the types of food they're eating, eating food that is generally healthy and that is recommended within the guidelines.